Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. This is my sister-in-law, Valerie. She also has a YouTube channel, which I will link down below. Today, we're gonna be doing her makeup. And if you guys wanna see what I'm gonna do to her, keep watching. Also, make sure to like, share the video, and subscribe. Also, comment any comments you have for me. Anything you wanna ask Valerie. If you want future videos with us together, and when you check out her channel, make sure to drop comments about things you want us to do on her channel as well. Yep. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. Excuse my face, girl. You know, I'm breaking out and shit. But, you so know. you do your eyebrows first or you like yep. to prime first? I like to prime and then eyebrows, but you're in control. You do whatever you want. Okay. I always like to start with eyebrows okay. then prime. But That's first, fine. I'm gonna wipe your face. Mm hmm. Probably a little dirty right now, but. A little sweaty. Okay, it's okay. I, I don't really do makeup on other people except for my mom, so this is pretty much a first. It's I'll okay, like, we're gonna see how you're gonna do. Yeah, I think I you're gonna do good. I don't like doing other people's makeup because then if I do bad, I feel bad. I'm not going nowhere. You know, it's quarantine, so yeah, we staying inside. Mm -hmm. Stay inside, wear your mask. Mm hmm. Stay safe, six feet apart. Okay, so eyebrows are done. Now we're gonna prime her face with this Fenty Beauty Primer. This is the Pro Filter Instant Deep Touch Primer. This is my favorite primer because it's so like, it's lightweight and it's like waterless. I don't like thick primer and I already have sensitive skin and I don't like things weighted. I don't like my makeup weighted, so I like this primer a lot. My hands are clean, by the way. Good job, Riri. Yes, girl. I feel like Rihanna's makeup brand is probably the best. Mm -hmm. She has the most shades. She has she caters to all skin types, mm -hmm. to all colored women mm -hmm. or men. Cause you know, 2020, everybody doing makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love watching people get facials i'm like shit i need one of those i'm getting one because my face right now with quarantine and wearing a mask 24 comment down below if you feel the same exact way you feel that you your face has like broken out more since this quarantine you just realize like the mask ain't it but we have to protect ourselves that yeah i feel like the mask it's the mask that's the problem mm -hmm. because it's this area down here yeah like that'd be breaking out yeah Cause the mask you have that shit on 24 7. yeah you can't leave your house without it mm -hmm. and then you're leaving all that oil up in there yeah so if you guys are curious why you shape um i like clean lines mm -hmm. and this helps me get those yeah and i'm never gonna do eyeliner because i suck at it so you even with practice. the tape I've tried. It comes out so thick. I can't even get it. I try to do it with the tape. I watch videos. That don't work out for Keep me. Keep trying. Never give up. Ooh, 60s. Yes. This one is an old palette. Comment down below if you guys know BH Cosmetics. That's that's an old palette. Old it's palette. nice. I don't know. I like this pink color. We might go for pink. Do. Pink it's up to like, you, your decision. I like pinks and yellows a lot when it comes to eyeshadow for colors. I don't really do blues. Blues are hard to blend. I don't think so, I've ever done a blue eyeshadow. I don't it's think so. hard. I really don't like using blue eyeshadow. I feel like it's so hard to blend. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a pink look today. I like pink. Okay. If you guys watch my Q&A, you guys didn't ask my favorite color, but my favorite color is pink. Also, if you guys want to head on to my channel, it's Val Ray. We actually did a video, a 15 minute makeup challenge. You guys should check that out. You guys are going to laugh because like, it was so hard. It was, it was really hard and it was really funny. Like, yeah. So make sure it you guys go check that out funny. and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Yes, go do that. Also, I'm going to link her social media because you should follow her. Mm -hmm. why not mm, I i'm starting off with this light pink as a base and putting it all over her eyelid just to have a light base under it i'm using this color i don't know the name of it but you know it's an older palette but this color is really pretty 
So I'm gonna put that in her crease. And I'm gonna pack it a little bit. Yo, whose dog is that? You guys hear that? I was wondering who that was. Comment if you hear the freaking dog who's annoying. Give this video a thumbs up if you hear the dog. <laughs> he literally decided to come and run the video. Okay. I like this really dark pink and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of her eye. And I know I've been using the same brush, but it's all pink. And honestly, when I do my makeup, I use the same brush for like three different colors. And then none and it works out. Yeah, it works out for me. So it's not to work out for you. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> I always do this. I know they're gonna come at me for not switching the brush. Look how the look looks. All the makeup girls out there. Yeah. I ain't no beauty guru. I just do makeup for fun. Mm -hmm. I learned this from Nikki Tutorials, Circular Motions. Mm. Cause that's how you blend nicely. Light circular motions. Thank you, Nikki Tutorials. You'll never see this video, but I'm still gonna thank you. You never know, she might. I didn't even know that because honestly, I always knew like a sweeping motion, like a back and forth. Have you ever done your makeup with your hands? No. <laughs> I've never done it with my hands. I, I can't. I don't like things on my fingers. Yeah. Like, and it's dirty. It gets everywhere. Makeup is messy. Yeah, I need brushes, sponges, everything. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be all dirty. Yeah. It bothers me when the, like, the sponge stains my finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but that's how blind people do it because I watch this blind girl. Mm -hmm. She does her makeup with her fingers. Molly Burke. Shout Always. out to Molly Burke for doing your makeup with your fingers. That takes that's awesome. That's a lot talented. of skill. I cannot. Me, I couldn't. I, I could. Really I would cannot. try. I would try it, but I don't think it'd be my preference. Yeah, I would definitely try it. Let's see. Maybe I'll do a challenge. What do you guys start with? I always start with eyeshadow. Cause then that way you could clean it up before you do a base and all that fallout, fallout doesn't fall on your face. Mm -hmm. I feel like always do eyeshadow right after eyebrows. And if you don't do your eyebrows first, also you're weird. Because I've noticed like over the time of watching YouTube, a lot of them, they would do eyebrows first and then foundation. Now I see they're doing it the other way, foundation, then eyebrows. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. I feel like you need to do your eyebrows first so that you can clean it. Because mm -hmm. then you're doing it on top of all this eyeshadow and stuff. Like, how do you clean it after? Yeah. You have to do your eyebrows first. I don't understand how other people do it the other way. How's it looking, guys? I think it looks great. If you ask my opinion. <laughs> but I'm the one doing it, so. Maybe it's not, and I'm just talking. Oh yeah, and I don't have any mirrors in front of me, so I honestly don't know what I look like. Which is good, because I don't want her to know what she looks like. Okay, so I finished her eyeshadow. This is how clean the line is because of that tape. This is why you should use tape. Because, well, if you want a rounded look, probably don't use it. But if you want sharp edges, Tape is the key. We're moving on to foundation and we're gonna do the NARS. I think NARS is a really good brand. What do you guys think? Also, do you guys use a beauty blender or a brush? I use a beauty blender because I feel like it spreads out the product a lot more evenly. And I always pump right on the face. I don't like putting it on my hand because then I have to clean my hand. Yeah, I pump right on my face. I don't like to put on the on the sponge or whatever. Yeah. Just, I also like NARS because I feel like it's so lightweight. It feels like water. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I really enjoy it. Yeah, I don't like to put foundation that's too thick. Mm -hmm. So if you guys didn't watch my last video, Valerie doesn't cover her ears, which is a little weird to me. <laughs> I hate. I never do it, so I can't even say I hate that, but... I just never really thought about it. My ears have like, no matter how I do my, my foundation or my makeup, my ears always look the same. I don't believe you. <laughs> but if you say so. 
I'm gonna cover her ears because today it is my so takeover. Weird. It feels so weird. This is my takeover. I'm Ooh. covering her ears. I think you should always cover your ears. There's no such thing as you match. Oh, make sure you take your time with this side, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the way to build coverage on lightweight foundations is to do one layer at a time until you're satisfied. Thin, thin layer, because you don't want to look cakey. True. The last thing you want to do when you're doing your makeup is look cakey. Because mm -hmm. then you're going to come out in pictures looking like a baked potato. Yeah. All your pores will show through and everything, no matter how many layers you put. Mm -hmm. So I feel like makeup is a form of art. Yeah. Like people have different ways to use makeup. Mm -hmm. Like for me, it's just I just want to look a little better on a certain day. Mm -hmm. But okay. other people do really full coverage looks, really full looks, like very creative stuff, which I like a lot. But I don't have the talent to do all that. Mm -hmm. Like some people be drawing some butterflies on their face. Like they just have too much time for me. I'm not there. And I don't know if I'll ever get there. She's not there yet. You know, I think it's like people are talented, but then like they, you know how like sometimes we get caught up in saying how like, oh, I don't like you self doubt yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's like, never doubt yourself. Cause like what you think is not good. Somebody, some to somebody else, they might think it's like everything. Yeah. So I feel like that's probably why we have to like, learn how to like push ourselves and stuff like that and that's really why i started this youtube channel because i feel like there's so much talent that goes unnoticed and i don't want to just be sitting here wasting things that i know on nothing mm -hmm. i'd rather just put it out there for people to comment on people to help me grow mm -hmm. like I'm not this good. I'm not really good at makeup, but I'm just doing it because I like it. Maybe one day I'll be as good as mm -hmm. other people out there. If you guys are just beginners at makeup, which I also am. Contour is like necessary. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you do your makeup, at first I used to not do it. Like I said, freshman year, I put foundation and concealer. That was it. And I feel like my face looked so flat. And nobody came at me. I don't know why my friends are so fake and didn't tell me I looked like shit. Were they wearing makeup too, your friends? A lot of them, yeah. Maybe they were doing the same thing you did. So they no, didn't think they it was better. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, and they didn't tell me shit. They were fake. Fake. So if you were friends with me freshman year and you know who you are, you didn't tell me shit about my makeup, don't talk to me. <laughs> that shit was trash. Like, I, when I look back at pictures, I'm like, why did nobody freaking tell me I look so ugly? Creators, man. Like, they just let me look disgusting. I just look like a flat ass freaking piece of chicken. I like this. I never heard about this brand until I got it in one of my boxy charms, which I'm gonna start doing boxy charm reviews next month. Stay tuned for those videos. But this palette is just stunning. Like, Beautiful. wow. I am obsessed with it. And I will never, ever, ever, ever stop doing these talking charms because they give me such good products to blue and white. So I don't really like um, lipstick, so you can use yeah. gloss. I hate or lipstick. I could just lick my lips. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. <laughs> I hate lipstick. I never wear lipstick. I wear lipsticks if I'm going to like a wedding or something crazy, but. The, yeah, I the only lipstick I would ever do is a nude lip. If it's not a nude lip, I'm not wearing lipstick, and that's it. Like, I just can't. I feel like lipstick is too mm -hmm. messy, too. I like lip gloss. Beauty Blender, you're just pressing in that setting spray. Comment down below, guys, if she did a good job. What do y'all think, Lucy? Mmm. -hmm. Comment fire emoji. See the eyes. Like, what y'all think? Did she do a good job? Hold up. Yeah, I have to get my reaction. Face. I gotta get my reaction. Oh. I got a mirror. Hold on. We're not getting get you a good mirror. We gotta get a big mirror. This has a mirror. Does it have a mirror? I don't think so. No. Did you have. Let's look in the oh. Patricia Bright palette. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Magic. Wow, look at my it. eyes. Okay, like I said, guys, I don't ever do this, so this is a lot for me. But this looks nice. It looks so good. Thank you. Guys, if you want me to do your makeup, well, you have to look close to me. Otherwise, I can't do shit for you. It looks so good. I feel like Jeffree Star, Patrick Star. Like, I'm about to start charging for makeup. Anyways, thank you for doing my makeup. It looks so good. How we look? Take screenshots, guys. Share this. Share the video, share the screenshots, tell people to watch us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like my face, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what y'all think. If you like this look, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. If you made it this far in the video, comment the fire emoji like I told you. Don't be lying. Don't skip all the way to the end and comment the fire emoji because I will come for you.